When taking a GoPro underwater, having the right mounting system is key in order to make a good video. With all of the different options out there, sometimes it can be hard to choose the right one. Hey guys, I'm Raymond Tiller and in today's video I'm going to be giving you the absolute best underwater accessories for your GoPro. Now I have been making underwater videos with my GoPros for a very long time now and over that time span I have used a lot of different accessories. Some of them have worked out great while others never really worked out the way that I wanted them to. But today I'm going to be telling you the 5 must have accessories for underwater video. Now by far the most common question I get asked is people wondering if they need a protective housing for their GoPro underwater. And the answer depends on what you're doing. GoPro cameras are waterproof by themselves down to 33 feet, but if you plan on going deeper than this, you will need a dive housing. Using one of these allows for you to take your GoPro down to tremendous depths while keeping it safe at all times. Even though I don't have to, I always use a dive housing when going underwater. I do this because you never know what can happen when you're going in the water, and I always like to ensure that my camera will be safe at all times. Combining all of those factors together, the underwater dive housing is a must-have accessory for your GoPro camera. The underwater light tray is what I find to be the most useful accessory for underwater videos. Anytime I'm filming underwater, I'm usually always using one of my light trays. What makes this accessory so useful is that it helps you create really smooth shots. With handles on both sides, you're able to have full control over every shot that you get. These light trays also have a little bit of weight to them, which helps you keep a steady hand when filming. Another great feature about this is the ability to attach lights to it. Hence the name, a light tray is capable of having lights attached to the top of it, making it great for all underwater settings. Now although you can use this mount while snorkeling, it is best suited for diving, as you're not able to reach your camera out as far as you can with other accessories. Now before I continue with the video, if you love underwater and adventure videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos. This is an accessory that I found myself using more and more over the past few years. What makes this mount so useful is its light weight. If you're looking to film underwater videos with no hassle at all, this is the accessory to have. It's incredibly lightweight and easy to handle. Another upside of the buoy stick is its ability to float. This makes it great for snorkeling and free diving especially. If you ever accidentally lose grip of your camera, there's nothing to worry about as it'll just float right back up to the surface. Now this isn't the best accessory to use while diving, as the light weight makes it easier to have shakier video. But the buoy stick is definitely an accessory you need for snorkeling or free diving. Altogether, this is probably the most commonly used accessory for underwater video, mainly because of its ability to get a wider range of shots. The underwater selfie stick can extend to around 3 feet in length, and it makes it very easy to get shots of yourself while underwater. Everyone loves to capture video of themselves while underwater, and this mount is the best way to do that. On the other hand, it's also great for getting closer to what you're shooting. Instead of having to swim closer to an object underwater, you can just stick out your selfie stick to capture all of the action. This accessory is great to have when diving or snorkeling around reefs, as you're able to get shots in between coral heads and some rocks. Dive filters aren't something that I use every time I'm filming underwater, but when I do use them, they make a big difference. 
The main job of these filters is to take out bland colors in your video and bring out some of the more vibrant ones like red, orange, and yellow. The most commonly used dye filter is the red dye filter. This is used for filming in blue water. The red dye filter takes out a lot of the dark blue colors and makes your video more colorful and vibrant. As you can see in the video, the red dye filter can make an already great shot look even better. Another dye filter is the magenta filter. This is meant for filming in greenish water, and its job is to take out a lot of the green colors and bring out some of the blues and yellows. Hence the name, dye filters are meant to be used while diving, and I only recommend using them when diving or free diving in deeper water. When you're snorkeling, you're just not going deep enough to where dye filters can make a useful difference in your video. And if you use dye filters in too shallow of water, it makes your video look very red. Alright guys, now that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.